Coming up next on Beach Nuts. He still loves me even though he sees me in a dress. And it's what? not a flattering dress. <laughs> Once upon a time, a madcap genius named Steve Silver created a zany new show called Beach Blanket Babylon. It was 1974 in San Francisco's North Beach, and Steve's outrageous hit was just warming up. 37 years and more than 12,000 performances later, the show has become the longest running musical review in theater history. Come with us behind the curtain of the forever genius, ever changing, Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon. This is Beach Nuts. The hilarious Kurt Branham is one of the talented stars of Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon. He's portrayed dozens of characters on the Club Fugazi stage. Jake Heggie is a brilliant opera composer. Often praised for his dramatic melodies, Jake's works have taken the opera world by storm. Kurt and Jake were married in 2008. Their family also includes Kurt's son Grayson and Cody. Beach Nuts visited the family at home where Kurt and Jake agreed to answer some questions about life in Babylon. How would you describe your job? Organized chaos with a ton of laughter. Well, I'm just tickled pink to be here. <laughs> the theatrical world, though, is, is a passionful, uh, crazy, uh, sporadic. It's never dull. It's never dull. <laughs> but that's what one thing we do that's love, what we love about is, it. is the, is the dullness though during the day. Yeah. We are really so dull. We are so boring. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't wear the wig at home. No. <laughs> Maybe once. No. <laughs> Jake, as a composer, how do you affect an audience? How do you affect an audience? I think you look for something authentic and true and transformative. You set a challenge up. I'm Dorothy Gale from San Francisco, and I'm looking for love. And then you find a transformative way through music and action and words. I'm a single lady. To find the core of joy that was missing. How do you know your true love is true? How do you think Beach Blanket affects an audience? The same way. I think theater, good theater is good theater. Beach Blanket has been so successful with comedy. Yeah. You need a drink. And that incredible journey every single show is, is just, it's remarkable. Resolving the conflict yeah. for snow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she is she gonna love. make it? Is she gonna, please, <laughs> please, please, please. Make please. it tonight, we want tonight, you tonight. To get there. And I still haven't found the my prince. You had the pleasure of knowing Steve Silver a little bit. How would you describe his sense of humor? I think everybody knows Steve Silver if they've seen the show. He is joy <laughs> and humor. <laughs> And a little sick. Sometimes a lot of sick. What goes up? He pushes the envelope. He does it always with a great sense of fun and a great sense of humor. What is your proudest beach blanket moment? It's so clear. It's the night the last night Steve Silver ever saw the show. It was the night that Carol Channing was performing with us and she was just amazed. <laughs> but Steve and Joe sat up in, sat up next to the stage. Go on. Go on. He'd never seen me perform. I was so lucky to be a part of that. We all realized after that he was saying goodbye to the show that night. Mm -hmm. and that's what theater is. It's, it's, it's real life. It's joyous, it's sad, it's moving and it's real. And that's what Steve was. That's what he was all about. So I was just glad to be there for, for Steve. How do you think Beach Blanket stays relevant? How does Beach Blanket stay relevant? It stays current with topics and with people, and it's constantly bringing in new ideas, things that just happened in the media. Music. And music with a perspective of fun and humor. You're getting the picture of what's really out there, but in this, through this very comical lens that allows you to laugh at yourself as well. And I think that's one of the great gifts of Beach Blanket. We don't take yeah. anything too seriously. Yeah. And nothing blanket. is sacred. No, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Whoa! 
Join us next time on Beach Nuts for a special bonus musical performance from Curtin Jake's Life in Babylon. Absolutely amazing.